geometric isomerism, that's cis and trans across a carbon-carbon double bond. Well, that's not quite true, it's cis and trans, but you don't have to have a carbon-carbon double bond. You can have what's called a cycloalkane. So there's cyclopropane as a triangular form. The skeleton structures are those triangles there. And so we can have cis and trans with those too. The IB specifically makes sure that we want to know about the dichloro version, so I put a couple of chlorines on each one. So these chlorines, they're locked into position by the ring. So on the left hand side, those chlorines are locked vertically upwards, and on the right hand side, one up and one down. So let's number those carbons, and I'm going to call that 1,2-dichloro in both cases. Try and get the lowest numbers I can. Don't forget a dash between the numbers and the words, and a comma in between the numbers. That's cis because they're facing in the same direction, and that's trans because they're across from each other. They're on different carbons, and they're across from each other. Like transport across ports, transvestite across clothing, trans am across America. Trans means across. So not just cyclopropane, the IB wants you to know about cyclobutane, which is four carbons in a ring structure. So that's going to be cis-1,2-dichlorocyclobutane, and that will be trans-1,2-dichlorocyclobutane. Now what about if it's over there? Well, that's the 1,3, no problem. And what about if it's placed over here? Then that must be the one four. No! And no again. You've got to have the lowest numbers, so count the other way. That's still one two. And for the trans, same thing. They don't have to be next to each other to be called cis and trans. 